Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 27 days away from its official release by Disney, Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, and creator George Lucas. That is all set and ready to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are very curious about is, of course, the marketing of Episode 9 by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, in case you guys did not know, Kathleen Kennedy and everybody over at Lucasfilm, they have a specific plan laid out for their strategy of exactly how the marketing is going to flow throughout the rest of this month of November, leading into early December, up until the release on the 19th slash the 20th, once it rolls into theaters. Now, just yesterday, we got a brand new TV spot, and it's actually awaiting to be released online in full HD that gives us a first look at the Knights of Ren, the Sith Troopers, and much more. But what's really exciting is, of course, the release date of new footage slash a first look of Episode 9, giving us essentially a, an entire scene of the movie in a similar sense to what The Force Awakens marketing did, where it's basically going to be a lot of shots that has dialogue embedded within it, you know, dedicated clips that will debut on Good Morning America this upcoming Monday. So I want you guys to keep, you know, your calendars, you know, marked for that day, for that morning on Good Morning America this Monday. It's actually said that it's going to be the first of three exclusive Star Wars days of promotional material where we're going to get tons of new footage for three days straight. And the first day actually starts on Good Morning America this upcoming Monday. Now, this is actually very good news because this tells us that this is the tipping point. This is the peak of when the marketing is actually going to be at where they're going to debut tons of new footage of the Knights of Ren, the Sith Troopers, the Jet Troopers, new dialogue of Palpatine, and maybe even a first look at Palpatine as well. Now, it's unclear if one of those three days are going to be the international trailer. That really is a, you know, big question open on the table for discussion so the first day is this monday tuesday is the second day wednesday is the third day and those are going to be three exclusive days of brand new star wars footage coming our way now another thing that i do want to go over here in case you guys did not know this is that the marketing of this movie is actually said to be like a combination between the last jedis and the force awakens you can see similarities to what they actually did with the last jedi by spreading certain parts out apart from each other where with the force awakens you know they're actually releasing it on the same exact days almost now when we look at episode nine all right it, it's really important that they actually get the marketing down correctly because a lot of fans are really just going in with this with a lot of mixed reactions a lot of mixed feelings if you will from what they actually have seen in the teasers and the trailers a lot of fans you know uh, that i've seen out there are either expressing that they're very excited about this or very uh, much apathetic about seeing this movie or very worried about this film and whether or not it's going to really satisfy the Star Wars fans around the world and if J.J. Abrams is even going to be able to mark this down as the best film of the sequel trilogy. You know, when we look at J.J. Abrams, right, he's the person who starred the sequel trilogy. He's the person who introduced us to Snoke in The Force Awakens. He started the whole isolation of Luke on the island thing. I mean, this all really comes from Abrams. So for him to wrap it all up and finish what he started with The Force Awakens really is a big deal. And I think that's one of the main reasons as to why The Rise of Skywalker almost feels more like a sequel to that of The Force Awakens rather than The Last Jedi. That's at least how I feel personally. I feel that when we look at The Last Jedi, it doesn't really feel as much of a sequel to The Force Awakens as much as The Rise of Skywalker is, at least so far, judging from the teasers and the trailers. And I believe a lot of that has all to do with the tone of the movie. Uh, as we all witnessed, Ryan Johnson gave us a completely different tone with The Last Jedi. You know, it was... I couldn't really explain it. It was just, like, darker, but, like, dark in a sense where it just made you feel very depressed about those characters. That's at least how I felt. Now, I personally had a lot of issues with The Last Jedi, so that could have played a role with the tone of the movie as well. But one thing I will add here, and one thing that I think is very important to the fans, is that Disney and Lucasfilm, they really have to have a satisfactory ending. We do know that they pieced together, you know, different parts of three different endings that they were testing with Episode 9 and combined it all together into one massive ending 
for this movie in order to give us a true and authentic Star Wars ending that George Lucas worked on with J.J. Abrams that was all done at last minute. Hence why J.J. Abrams has said the other day that there's still so much to do before it actually releases. And still so much to do, 27 days out from this movie, really is cutting it close if you guys had to ask me. I mean, that is weeks away. We are like three weeks and five days away, give or take, from the release of this movie. We don't have much longer at all until it even actually premieres. You know, the actual, you know, official The Rise of Skywalker premiere actually debuts before the actual release date for the public to go ahead and see this thing in theaters. So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.